Hello and welcome to another inside look at the Ace of Family. My name is Weldon Trantham and I will be your host on this journey. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the infamous Annabelle. The story for Annabelle begins in 1970, where a woman purchased a Raggedy Ann doll from a hobby store as a gift for her daughter. Now it's unclear whether it was supposed to be a Christmas present or a birthday present, but either way, it was gifted to her daughter Donna, who was a 28-year-old nurse. Donna shared an apartment with her friend Angie, and Angie and Donna were the ones that experienced most of the experiences that started happening with Annabelle. In the beginning, they would put, uh, Donna would put the Raggedy Ann doll on her bed and would come home and the doll would be in different positions. You know, kind of didn't make sense, but she didn't really think too much of it. It wasn't until one day that Donna came home and found actual drops of blood on Annabelle. At that point, she reached out to a medium when the medium came in, she said that there was a little six or seven year old girl named Annabelle that, had, that was either found dead in the field that the apartment was built on or died in a car crash near the apartment. Either way, this was the little girl that was playing with the doll and wanted permission to inhabit the doll. Now Donna and her roommate Angie thought this was a touching story, so they gave the entity permission to inhabit Annabelle the doll, and they gave the doll the girl's name, Annabelle. Unfortunately for them, after this is where things started to take a darker turn. At first, they would come home and the doll would be in different rooms of the house. Then the doll would be in different positions in certain rooms of the house that would be almost impossible for the doll to be in with someone just dropping the doll or setting the doll down someone actually had to force the doll into these positions. Another strange occurrence that was happening was Donna and her roommate Angie were finding little notes all over the place that would say, help me or help Lou. They were written in a childlike handwriting and on parchment paper. The weird part about that, other than finding notes just randomly around the apartment, was that they did not have any parchment paper in the house. So where this paper was appearing from, they had no idea. Angie's fiance, Lou, who already didn't like Annabelle, was staying there one night and slept on the couch. He awoken in a state of paralysis, looked down at towards his feet and noticed Annabelle standing over him at his feet. Annabelle then proceeded to climb up his legs, crawl across his body and sat on his chest and began to strangle him. Lou blacked out from this and woke up several hours later in a state of panic, not seeing Annabelle anywhere, not having, you know, anything wrong at that time. There's another story of Lou being attacked where they heard noises coming from one of the rooms. Lou walked into the room, not seeing anything, turned around and had a burning sensation across his chest. Now, they said when, they took, when he took his shirt off, they looked, he had four scratches going one way and three scratches going another way. It was shortly after this that the family decided to reach out to a church, to Episcopalian church, for help. The church took it upon themselves to reach out to Ed and Lorraine Warren. Ed and Lorraine Warren came out to do an investigation when they showed up they asked the church the uh, they asked the, the fathers to bless the members of the house bless the house itself and they convinced Donna and Angie to let them take Annabelle back with them to put in a protective case now Annabelle sits at Ed Lorraine's occult museum up in Connecticut in a glass case for nobody to touch. As strange and horrific as Annabelle's story is, there's actually only one death that could possibly be linked to the Annabelle doll, 
and that was after it was put in Ed and Lorraine's occult museum in Connecticut. There was a couple visiting, a younger boy and, and his girlfriend, and he began to taunt the doll, uh, something to the effect of, you know, saying, you scratched Lou, why don't you scratch me, show me what you can do, and the boy was kicked out of the museum and asked to leave. At, they left shortly after, had an accident on his motorcycle, which killed him and severely injured his girlfriend. Thankfully, Annabelle is now kept in a glass case at the Occult Museum up in Connecticut. If you visit there, don't recommend you taunting her. If you or anybody in your family has something going on and you want ASAP to check it out, please feel to reach out to us. Also, if you want to become a member or donate to our cause, please check out ASUPinc.org. That's ASUPinc.org. Thanks for checking out my video.